think KB is an abducted baby. You know what? Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Naomi Knott and today as you guys can tell by the title below, we're gonna have a mukbang. We're having some Nando's today and I do want to apologize in advance for the lighting. If the lighting is a bit weird, I am recording this like so late in the day so it's a race against the sun and because I use natural lighting, the sun is literally right in my face so I had to, you know, improvise and get a bit of lighting and stuff like that. So let's get into the video okay so let me set these out so i just got um fries oh my god so i just got fries and a quarter chicken leg leg quarter chicken quarter chicken leg that's what i got and then I got my favorite drink, mango and orange. So this video, we're not only eating, we're gonna talk about blood and water. Obviously you've seen the title. And this video has spoilers. So if you guys haven't watched it, and I don't understand why you haven't watched it yet, just click off the video and go watch the whole series and then come back to this. And then maybe we can agree and disagree on some things. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to send in your unpopular opinions or your thoughts on the whole series, like the plots, the characters, who's your favorite character, and all that and all that. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do that right now at Naomi. It's going to be in the description below. Okay. Rot. Rot, 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 rot. Blood and water. I Before I even start on the whole review and the whole talking about the show, I just want to... You know send send a message let me let me let's get serious for a minute dear nosipo demisa you're an abda alumni i'm an abda student you know i'm studying live performance which means i'm an actress so you know if you need an extra person to be in the series you know somebody to just shake the room a little bit somebody who's you know young and fresh and you know never seen on tv guys i'm there just call me <laughs> just email me i'm available listen i will come when you call me okay guys this series was amazing i personally feel like it was the bomb.com but okay 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 let's start somebody was like there's way too many unnecessary scenes and i don't i when i saw this i didn't understand what exactly they meant by unnecessary scenes like what exactly was unnecessary Luckily, i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know the next person was i love the storyline but they beat about the bush so much i mean i guess that's how like series and shows are done like you gotta go like this go like like if you get to the plot real fast then like the, the the movie is basically done the series is basically done so they need to like drag on a little bit look it only has six episodes guys so they probably had to like drag it on like that so that they can go up to six episodes or something i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know kb is my fave character we deserve season two we definitely deserve a season two and i definitely need to be a part of that cast Guys, I'm going to shoot my shot as much as possible. Like, I'm trying to get myself there. If you guys want me to send an audition tape, I'll send my audition. Just put me in there. And yes, KB is my favorite as well. Yo! Yo! That man. <sighs> That's all I have to say. Hmm. The plot was really good, actually. Plus, I'm glad Puleng and KB were together. I definitely ship KB and Puleng. Like, I feel like they're, you know, I don't know if I should say they're right for each other or something, but I definitely ship them. I definitely feel like they go well to, with each other, like they complement each other in a way. That's what I feel, Khale. And the next one says, my unpopular opinion is that KB really is a great guy. He is, guys. I think he is as well. I definitely agree with that one. Like, obviously, if you look back at how they started, 
or how like you know the whole like KB's gang started like the mean people the popular people you think or motor at the dealer you know what I'm saying but like he genuinely looks like a genuine guy like a sweet guy so I, I, I also agree that he's a great guy personally I liked it for me I like different kinds of TV so I found it very entertaining for a teen high school series and I definitely agree with that guys let's just talk about the production for a second like the location that was chosen guys the location the schools usually like with South African TV shows you know like these government schools and stuff like that so I feel like for like they brought something different to the table like they brought a different energy they brought a different feel to it it's so different and it's so different and it's so relatable to like right now and to i guess their target market you know what i'm saying there was never a chill episode everything was just on edge yo back to back to back to back to back my nigga i was literally like oh my god what's gonna happen if it's not about Finding Puleng's sister. It's about KB and Puleng. It's about Puleng and Wade. It's about what's Wade gonna do. It's about, okay, the lady in jail. You know, like, it's like, it, like, everything was just happening in every single episode. And I commend them for that, honestly. The last episode just ha left us hanging like that, really. Dog! Like, before I watched the show, I didn't know it had six episodes. So when I got to the sixth episode, and then it just ended, I was like... So, do we figure out if she's a sister or not? Like, we need to know what's happening. Like, well, how's their relationship going to be? Like, what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely, I agree with that. That last episode, oh my god. Oh my god. Why they have to do us like that? Bullying messes up a lot for a fix but it's always unintentional i think this is the puleng and figile's relationship apart from the fact that like puleng is looking for her sister and stuff like that it's like typical high school female drama like you have a fight with a girl and then you guys make up and then all of a sudden there's another fight and it's like okay banana what's happening like are you guys friends or not like you can't you guys can't keep turning on each other's backs and I guess they, I, I think they really portray that, pro, pro, you portrayed it really well, like drama within like high school and between girls and stuff like that. So I think that was good. I don't find KB attractive. Who are you to not find KB attractive? Have you seen that? dark chocolate towel of a man girl <laughs> what but i guess that's your own preference honey so but will it await in my life girl you like well oh. wade was honestly my favorite character i'm not even gonna lie he was my favorite character like he was so sweet and he played his character so well guys like he played his character mwah, to the t you could feel the awkwardness you could feel the nerdiness you could feel her you know like he like his his character was just like he played it so well and I love him for that. If Fix finds out about her real family, will she give up her current life to be with them? I doubt it. Mmm. Mmm. This is interesting. I think you're onto something. What is Wendy actually fighting for? Girl is too much, yes, sis. Guys, Wendy is that girl who's like the know it all. She's the teacher's pet. She's always questioning the system. She's always, you know, like she's the way her character is. We all know somebody who was like that in high school. Like, we can't deny that. We all know somebody who was like that in high school. And I feel like that's just the reality of some stuff, you know? Okay, cut it off. Get some chicken, answer some questions. Let's go. Mm -mm. But don't, is this the same person? Somebody says Fix is not that pretty TBH. Like, people are overhyping her. Fix is cute. Like, she's pretty. Like, she's got that teenage um, aesthetic to her. You know, like, she looks like a nana. 
not like a nana in a bad way but she looks like you know she could fit in in high school and stuff like that so i don't know what you're talking about she pretty i love wade you guys he's been there for puling since day one yeah that's what a good friend does no like did you expect him to like turn on puling or something kb wasn't wrong <laughs> For comforting Fikile after the fight. He's known her for longer. And I agree with that totally. Bros before. I think we all know that saying. <laughs> like they've known each other since childhood. So I wouldn't expect um, KB to go for Boulé. Were they dating at the time? I don't think they were dating. Like he was trying to get to her. But they weren't dating yet, right? Yeah. So I agree with that one. He It, it wasn't his fault. And... I get why he was feeling bad because you know this is somebody this is a girl you're trying to get and um it looks bad it's like oh okay so you still like her so you want to be with her like why were you not there for me you know this is like, you know how girls are so uh-huh yeah natasha tahane tahane yo guys i never know how to say her surname i acted her butt off guys i don't want to swear okay a acted her butt off faves pulling and kb please definitely definitely but honestly at first when i met wendy's character her character was like okay that's a bit much like you don't have to, like i don't know like it was too like when i first met her, i was like there's absolutely no reason for you to be acting like this girl like Toned it down a lot, but then as the episode pro as the episodes progressed, then I was like, ah, makes sense why her character's like that. Like, yo, she's too much. <laughs> ah, <laughs> somebody says it has boy Harry Potter nyana. I don't know. I loved it. Oh, I understand why you say that. And then she goes on to say, I haven't come to conclusion on my fave character. You know why she says it has for Harry Potter Nyana? Do you see those uniforms? Those podcast uniforms? And then the school buildings. Like, that's how Hogwarts was. With the infrastructure and with the uniforms. Yep, I agree with that one. I definitely agree with that one. I don't understand Fikile's character at all. Fikile doesn't understand herself as well, girl. <laughs> so I don't blame you. Like Fikile is just she's lived this perfect life, you know, rich parents, going to, you know, these prestige schools. She's a swimmer. She might go to the Olympics. You know, her life is just all planned out. It's all nice and like hormonate. But she doesn't know herself. If she doesn't know herself, I don't expect you to know her either, guys. No! That's so ghetto. I can't wait for season two. What if Fix sees Pume? Wait, what? I can't wait for season two. What if Fix is a Pume? I love KB. I legit enjoyed it. I can't wait for season two. What if Fix is a Pume? That's also something to consider. Everything is just kind of perfect, but the back-to-back -back fights are annoying. Why do you think that the back-to-back -back fights are annoying? I feel like it's like like I said, it's typical high school behavior. So you should kind of expect that you know there's gonna be fights here and there, especially petty fights that are annoying. Um, so it's just typical high school things, honestly. Niggas should be able to notice when a girl doesn't like them. They should stay woke. I think, I'm I'm guessing you're talking about Wade and Bulleg. Wade had the hope that, you know, there was something going to happen. Because Bulleg is still hanging out with him. Even though, like, Bulleg is using him in a way. But Bulleg is still hanging out with him. So, you know, he's over here thinking that, you know, I'm not going to let you have him Um... I'm going to get the girl, she's pretty, she's new, so <laughs> he just had hope and he clearly was blinded by that hope, so I don't blame him. I think KB is an abducted baby. Yeah. 
you know what i need to eat a chip for that because this conspiracy theory right here could actually be very valid guys what if kb is an abducted baby what if the reason the mom is in london is because the husband was doing all this stuff like maybe something about a child maybe she couldn't have a child and then the husband was like no i can do this for you and then she was like no i don't want this and then he was like but i want a child but we want kids and then he was like i can do guys i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm saying but yeah yo so guys this is future naomi editing right now and i'm listening to this and i'm thinking what if kb really is an abducted child because he said they grew up together they're probably the same age so that means the dad probably got both of them at the same time and then that's how they grew up together that's an interesting conspiracy theory right there it was amazing at first i was like eh it's so obvious but then there's some plot twists that literally got me on the edge of my seat also i was telling my friends that bullying reminds me of you i know it's definitely not the looks <laughs> So reminds me of reminds you of me how in what way personality wise or what's up what you talking about oh it continues the person says appearance wise of course on our Netflix please amen I receive I speak it into existence in Jesus name amen but otherwise yes I'm ready for my next not my next my first Netflix debut. Yeah, I feel like Fikide is gonna hate Puleng for helping her to be found. I don't know if you understand, but why would she hate that? I mean, wouldn't somebody want to know exactly where, um, how they were brought up and their and their background and stuff like that? So maybe, oh no no no, I think I understand you because also she's had this perfect life and all of a sudden this girl just comes and ruins it. It's like. And she's gonna she's gonna hit bullying with this line maybe i didn't want to be found did you ever think about that that that's gonna be the line she's gonna say something along the lines of that like maybe i just want to stay with my perfect family and i don't want to um be found stuff like that da, 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 da. yeah so i think i understand why you say that mm -hmm. that's that's a good one too and bullying should try dating wade yo Wade has found a new girl. So I think we should leave Wade out of this. He's now happy. Yeah, is dating with KB. So I feel like it's not gonna work out between the two of them. Puleng likes the bad guys. And clearly we can see that. <laughs> so let's leave Wade and Tahira to explore. And we'll see where it goes and where it takes them. I'm I'm shipping Wade and Tahira for real, for real. Honestly, I'm shipping them real hard. Loved it. The acting was annoying at times because it was trash. But loved it. I agree with that. Like some of the actors, I was like, Eek. Woo! Yikes! Like we can do better than that. But otherwise, mm-hmm. Like I said, Wade, ah, oh, Wade killed it. Killed it. Killed it. So, yeah, no, I hope season two has more episodes because they have a lot to touch on. Like, they have a lot of background work to show us, um, people's backstories, maybe even throw in some montages from, you know, when they were growing up and stuff like that, and, um, what the dad used to do back then, you know, stuff they need to do that i think that's the last one yep that was the last one but i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one Mwah. oh how do i not play the song guys that's so disrespectful naomi oh my god 
Okay, bye guys. I'm gonna eat now. Peace.